Hello everybody, Slasher here, and today I have another theory video for you. For once, this actually isn't going to be about a creature faction lore in the constant, and it's actually just going to be about one of the characters. To be specific, I am referring to Wilson. After his rework, his new and impressively made short has actually drawn more questions than answers, and I'm going to be the one to try and crack the case on him. This is the Wilson Monster Theory. Wilson is the first character you can play as in single player Don't Starve, and this has led many people, including myself, to perceive Wilson as a de facto protagonist of the Don't Starve series. He has the most art between him and Maxwell, the main antagonist of single player Don't Starve, at least until you free him. He has one of the largest amounts of appearances in most Don't Starve animations. Regardless of people thinking whether or not he's supposed to be the main protagonist or not, he is very much real and present within the Don't Starve lore. However, with Wilson's introduction and new short, we still still know very little about him as a character other than he may be living in Wagstaff's old house, or he is Wagstaff's son, or maybe even he's Wagstaff himself. All we know about Wilson's past is that he was working at a university, or he was a student, who was apparently studying alchemy, and was kicked out of the university when he blew up a chemistry lab. But that is pretty much all we know about pre-Constant Wilson, with the exception of how he got to the Constant, having been coaxed in by Maxwell on the boxophone to build an adventure portal, which unfortunately takes him to the Constant. The only thing we know left is about Wilson as a person, that he wants to be a scientist and he came to the Constant with the pursuit of knowledge. Whether or not he is a good scientist is irrelevant, as he has made some alchemical breakthroughs in the Constant, even as small and as goofy as they seem. So Wilson is a scientist and is the main character in the Constant, who has a strange relation to Wagstaff. He also has a relation to Maxwell, but that isn't unique to Wilson, as most characters do have some sort of relation to Maxwell. However, where it gets unique is that all of these characters received at least some type of gift from Maxwell, but Wilson didn't receive anything. Well, at least not originally. That's when I noticed some of Wilson's transmutations were a little... strange. Like Wilson being able to make beard hair out of beefalo wool and vice versa. We already know, thanks to my monster meat theory, that beard hair has rather strange properties, but there's one other trait about Wilson that many people have called me on not talking about, and that is the consistent appearance of Wilson's pure black hands. Now, many people called this out in my Monster Meat Theory, and spoiler for those of you who have not watched my Monster Meat Theory ahead, in my theory, I came to the conclusion that Wilson was partially insane due to his interaction with Maxwell, the constant, and the idea of perception playing a key role in mutation and Don't Starve when it comes to Monster Meat and Nightmare Fuel. But what you guys specifically added on to my theory was the look of Wilson's hands that have a deep black look to them when compared to the rest of his body. And my first assumption was that Wilson was wearing gloves of some kind. After all, he is an alchemist of sorts. However, I now know this is wrong for two reasons. The first reason being, we know what gloves look like in Don't Starve, and they don't look like that. Secondly, I tried to remove Wilson's gloves and the Kuro cabinet, and it is physically impossible to do so. As a matter of fact, it even shows that Wilson's black hands go all the way up to his shoulders. The only other character who shares this trait with Wilson is Maxwell. And some might be saying, well, maybe Wilson's hands are black because he sat on the Nightmare Throne, but that's just the thing. His most recent short showed this. Wilson's hands were like this before he went to the Constant. So, what makes Wilson and Maxwell special? After all, Maxwell has the exact same hands in the Maxwell short, even Charlie does too, but it's very clear in her case that she is wearing gloves. Perhaps Wilson has some type of exposure to nightmare fuel in his past the same as Maxwell? Maybe, but I have one final small theory to add to this claim. Don't Starve's storyline so far has been shown to take place in the early 1900s and 1910s, and one of the most prominent events that occurred in the 1910s was World War I, a bloody conflict that lasted mainly in Russia, France, and Germany. So what does all of this have to do with Wilson and Maxwell having weird hands? Well, the devil may be in the details in regards to World War I. The conflict of World War I was started due to the murder of a high-profile Austrian, Archduke Franz Ferdinand, by a Serbian secret military group. Its goal was to unite Slavic peoples and create a more powerful and greater Serbian country via violent means towards Austria. And what was this group's name? Well, I'm glad you asked. They were known as the Black Hand.
So, why might Wilson have a bone enough to pick against Austria-Hungary that would cause him to aspire violence against them in order to create a more powerful Serbia? As we know, Wilson is an aspiring scientist with a deliciously fat rump. And when we look up Serbian scientists 1910, the most prominent example we get is Nikolai Tesla, one of the inventors of the radio. Furthermore, Wagstaff, as we know, is the creator of the Voxelos radios, or Voxaphones. That may not be just a coincidence. We also know that Wagstaff's entire factory for making Voxaphones burned down only just a few days after production began. Why burn it down? Well, I'm glad you asked, because somebody else built another goddamn portal. Winona tries to pull whoever this is supposed to be out, but she fails to do so. Originally, it was perceived that this person was Wagstaff. However, since we can see that Wagstaff only has a projection of himself in the constant, whereas his corporeal body is in the real world, we know this not to be the case. What does Winona to do to respond to this? That's right, she builds another goddamn portal. I originally assumed Wagstaff to be like Albert Einstein due to his appearance, but the semblance of both time and his inventions now leads me to believe he is more of a reference to Nikolai Tesla. So, what does this mean for Wilson? Wilson very much considers himself to be a scientist, so therefore working with a scientist like Nikolai Wagstaff must be a positive and enlightening experience, even if they are both working on yet another goddamn portal. Meanwhile, real Wagstaff is watching Wilson through Wilson's original portal, I think. So, this stands as a lot of evidence that Wilson would have a vendetta against Austria on behalf of Wagstaff the inventor, and therefore he was probably part of the Black Hand. But what about Maxwell? The Black Hand has arrived. Well, Maxwell's story gets a little bit complicated, as we do not know where Maxwell got the Codex Umbra, but it may be safe to assume that he got it from a place. What kind of place? Austria, to be specific. <laughs> There is actually a lot of evidence for this theory. You see, Wilson and Maxwell both have black hands, and in 1910s there was a military group against Austria that wanted to unite Serbia, and they were also called the Black Hand. And in Maxwell's book, The Codex Umbra, he summoned shadow puppets to do his bidding. And you may have noticed, these shadow puppets also have black hands, another instance of Wilson's imminent aggression in the pursuit of science. However, why were these objects in Austria? Well, I'm going to make a bit of an assumption, but here's where I take a shot at it. Modern day Austria is just referred to as Austria. However, back before the events of both world wars, Austria was formed with Hungary and was known as Austria-Hungary. Do you know what word also sounds like Hungary? That's right, Hungary. And what is Wilson and Don't Starve when he doesn't eat food for a while? Hungry. I always hate this part. <laughs> Now I know what you are thinking after this revelation, because I am thinking the exact same thing. Is Wilson actually hungry? And my response to that is no. There is no evidence to suggest that Wilson is hungry, and that is due to the fact that Wilson has food in his beard. This is proven with Wilson's new ability, the beard. Wilson can store food inside of this beard, which is something that he can do at any time, ensuring he will always have food. And he always has food inside his beard because he always has his beard. There has never been any point where Wilson has not had a beard. However, Wilson's beard compared to the other beards, like Wagstaff's, is something special. Wilson's beard here can be made out of beefalo wool and vice versa, and we also know that Wagstaff has a beard and other characters do as well, something that he can use to make a statue of himself to bring himself or others back to life. This is where it gets a little tricky. What if Wilson is not only related to Wagstaff, but is actually a creation of Wagstaff that perpetually creates beard hair? There is actually a lot of evidence for this theory. Remember how earlier I mentioned that Wilson is part of the Black Hand? However, Wilson's hands are also black and they are not because he is wearing gloves. What if his hands were actually made out of beard hair because Wilson is actually a beard creature? This would mean that Wilson does not actually have arms but is instead a massive beard creature. Another piece of evidence is the strange phenomenon that occurs when Wilson is sleeping, or rather there the lack of. There have never been any instances of Wilson sleeping ever. There have also never been any instances of Wilson resting or sitting down. We have never seen Wilson even stop and relax for a moment. That is because he doesn't need to, because he doesn't have to. He can just continue to grow beards and build portals forever. Why is Wilson doing this? Because Wilson loves Wagstaff and wants to do his best to appease his master. Wilson is the perfect scientist assistant and Wagstaff would not have it any other way. This is why Wilson is seen as the gentleman scientist. It actually goes even further than that. What if I told you that on top of creating Wilson's beard, Wagstaff is actually a monkey? 
This one is a bit of a curveball, but there is actually a lot of evidence for this theory. In the Moon Key short, we see Wagstaff on a barren island. Doing what, you ask? That's right, building another goddamn portal. The portal does not work, however, and instead causes a huge providence of Pirates of the Caribbean 6 seeking $32 billion in equity damages on behalf of the Lobster King. So they want our bodies, and they're gonna get them. So how does this relate to Wagstaff? Wagstaff also has a monkey in a crate on the ceiling of one of his bases in the WX-78 short. Therefore, I am led to believe that Wagstaff is actually a monkey supremacist that intentionally goaded the Pirates of the Caribbean to arrive and Don't Starve Together. And the last piece of evidence is this. When first starting Don't Starve Together, there was a comic release for the Cyclone puzzles between Wilson and Maxwell. Wilson confronted Maxwell about dying on the Nightmare Throne, and Maxwell admits that he has no idea how it happened. What makes this important is at the end, Wilson shares blueprints with Maxwell that he acquired. And so, what did he and Maxwell do? That's right, build another goddamn portal. Oh my god, get it? Cuz April Fools? I fooled you? In reality, I do have an updated theory on Wilson, but that's still very much in the works. However, I do actually have another theory on a completely different yet still relevant topic in Don't Starve Lore. I'm not yet ready to reveal what that is just yet, but I hope to have it done within the next month or so.